So, the in terms of some some of the techni technicalities of the surgery uh, in orthognathic surgery or in MMA surgery to treat sleep apnea is similar, but there is a very fundamental difference, and that is that orthognathic surgery means correction of of the jaw. And so a uh, patient has a jaw deformity, you know, uh, they have an overbite, an underbite, a asymmetry of the face. So they're straightening the jaw. That's orthognathic surgery. A lot of patients with severe sleep apnea who needs MMA surgery, they have perfectly normal jaw relationships. Uh, or it may not be perfect, but it is functional. So they are not undergoing the surgery to correct their bite. They're not undergoing the surgery uh, to correct a, a jaw uh, deformity. That is not their main complaint. So uh, it is very important to make that distinction because when you, uh, a simple way that I try to tell patients is one thing, so orthognathic surgery, you're using bone to treat a bony problem. MMA surgery, you're using bone to treat a soft tissue problem, which is the airway. So now, these two can be combined. You can have a patient with sleep apnea and also jaw deformity. And in that case, you would plan the surgery to correct the two issues at the same time. But it is critically important, I think, again, to make that distinction. What are we doing this operation to treat? Now, I should specify, though, it doesn't mean that when we treat the airway, we're only focused on the airway. We, we certainly still maintain or improve the patient's bite, their occlusion. Most of the times, their facial balance and aesthetics can be improved, which is the beauty part. Um, and then, of course, their nighttime and, and truthfully, daytime uh, breathing as well. So, I guess a lot of times, you know, when I think about this operation, really in combining what I think is, you know, the important factors of bite, breathing, and beauty. The most important thing that in combination they address is the brain. So when the patient's sleeping and they're not losing oxygenation during sleep uh, and you see the transformation with our patient, uh, Mr. Xiao, you can tell in, in six months what a huge difference uh, that makes. Uh, so again, just to, to summarize again, it is really, really important to, to figure out the distinction. Even if you don't have a jaw problem, you don't have a bite problem, you can still undergo skeletal surgery to treat the airway. And do remember that it doesn't mean that we don't keep those factors uh, in mind. But it is definitely not worth anatomic surgery because we're not, most of the times we're not straightening uh, anybody's jaws. They're probably straight uh, from the get-go.